Hi, and this is VGS Tailwind CSS tutorial where we're gonna create a new applications with VGS that will use VGS and also Tailwind CSS. So let's begin. And first, if you don't know what is VGS, in short words, I can describe this tool as a great tool that you can use for your front end development. And for example, if you're building some React application or VGS application, it's better to use VGS because it's a great compiler for your code. It's better than Webpack and with VGS you can easily add plugins for your application and many other things that we will see also in this video if you don't know what is VGS and let's begin at first I'm gonna type the next command and it will be npm create a vit latest my view app so this is name of my folder with my application that I'm going to create and here I type that I want to create a application with template view so hit enter and as you can see in the first step we have select the framework message and we are going to use VGS so I'm going to choose this framework and if you want you can also use VGS in Svelte or for example in, in React or, or if you're using other frameworks you can also use VGS so I'm going to use Vue and in this tutorial I'm going to write everything in vanilla JavaScript I mean without TypeScript syntax so let's choose JavaScript and now let's go to folder with my project so cd my view app and now let's type npm install okay as you can see everything's installed successfully and now it's time to open my project in visual studio code and after that we are going to install everything that we need for tailwind css and vue.js so as you can see i open it my project in visual studio code and first let's install dependencies that we need for table tailwind css and it will be tailwind css post css and after prefixer so let's hit enter and let's wait until all these dependencies will be installed and as you can see this is structure of the vgs application that using vue.js but it's better to say not vgs applications that using vue.js it's better to say vue.js applications that use white config uh, I mean VGS as compiler. So as you can see here we have source folder project, source folder, public folder and everything that you can see in typical VGS applications. Okay, now it's time to init Tailwind CSS with npx so you will need to type this command you can also find this in the official documentation of the tailwind css and npx tailwind init p so let's click yeah okay great and also there is okay my cat is meowing and as you can see there is white config.js file as you can see here we are using vgs and also if you want you can connect connect here other other plugins for your compilation of your VGS application, but I'm going to clo close this and we are going to configure everything that we need for Tailwind CSS and VGS and VGS. As you can see, there is also a new file that was created by this command that I just typed at Tailwind config. JS and here we will need to change this content element and here we will type content equals to array index HTML and all this stuff will compile our code and our VGS components. The next step it will be to import Tailwind CSS in CSS file and to do that we're going to open style.css and we can also rename this file to index.css and we will need to paste here this three lines of so Tailwind base, Tailwind components and utilities and all this code will include uh, CSS from the Tailwind CSS framework. Okay, and now let's open app.view and here let's copy all this stuff. So let's also delete this. Also, we don't want to use hello world component and we can also delete this style tag. And here to test that we are using in CSS, I'm going to create a, a new heading with style tag with class tags 3 excel and fold bold uppercase and hello VGS and tailwind CSS. Okay, that's all. And now let's run npm run dev. And as you can see, our application started. So yeah, this is local server of the, our application. And as you can see, all code is now compiled by VGS. So let's copy this address. And now let's open browser and check this link. And if you open browser, you can see I have an error in my main.js file. So let's fix it. So 
let's open main.js file and here we will need just to change this import index.css okay and as you can see also all code is compiled by vgs as i said so as you can see but now i see that we have error no utility classes were detected in your source file files so i think this is a problem that we have uh, this compilation of VGS files and tailing CSS because as you can see I added here this classes but there is no any new styles in styles tab so that means that I will need to open my tailwind config.js file and here I will type maybe that uh, view yeah so not that view okay a comma view and as you can see now if i open my browser uh, you can see that styles from the tailwind css are included so that means that now we can make a small example to finish this lesson so for let's create here a new container mx auto let's make her background uh, 600 and also we can add here padding 6 and maybe rounded um, rounded lg we can also add some margin top and maybe we can change text color to text white and maybe that's all and now let's open browser and as you can see our styles from the tailwind css successfully included so that was small tutorial where i wanted to show you how you can install tailwind css with vue.js and vue.js and yeah that's all as you can see it's really simple and it's one of the best way to develop your VGS application if you want to use Tailwind CSS and have a nice compiler that is better than a Webpack. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and we're gonna meet in the next videos.